Breaking on KDK News at 11, three people shot tonight at Clearview Mall in Butler. One person is in custody. Jennifer Barrasso is live with what's going on right now. Jen. Well, Cadden, this police investigation has been going on for hours, and right now, state police, they are across the street from the mall here at the Sheets. They are zoning in on a white sedan. My colleague Bruce, Bryce Lutz will zoom in on it. Something led them to this parking lot. And just a short time ago, sources telling us that an altercation can happen inside the rural king at Clearfield Mall, Clearview Mall. It spilled outside. Weapons were flashed and at least 20 rounds were fired. Gunfire erupted. At some point, um, this is what Police were zoning in there at the mall. Take a look at some of the video that we shot. This Kia SUV shot up. At least two windows shot out on the driver's side. The Butler County DA confirms the shooting took place in the parking lot near the Rural King and the Boscoffs. The crime scene rather large. We saw at least 20 evidence markers. Now, a Rural King employee tells me three people came into the store saying they got shot. A Boscoff's employee tells me their store went on lockdown around 7. And here's reaction with some, from some shoppers we caught up with. You don't think anything's going to happen like that around here, and then it does, and it's definitely not, not something you want, you know, someplace you frequent and your family frequents, so. It's pretty sad that someone would do this around here. Why there is that? A thousand people come around here probably day by day, go shopping, and there's a lot of family, kids. That could be someone else's kid. So, Ken, about 20 minutes ago, we arrived here at the Sheets across from the mall. Police zoning in, taking pictures, collecting evidence in connection with this shooting. We don't know whose car it is, but state police telling me that in all up to four people are involved in this shooting that happened earlier tonight. And when asked how old these uh, suspects are between 18 and up, these are... Um, at this point, we know that two were rushed to hospitals via an ambulance and one was life-flighted. Life -flighted. I'm told that their injuries are non-life-threatening, and that is the latest here in Butler County. We'll bring you more details as they become available. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.